Terrell police are investigating a report that a child was sexually assaulted. Police have obtained video of that incident. Parents say the video is being shared among middle school students. Fox Force James Rose is at Herman Furlow Junior Middle School and has reaction from parents and what administrators told students. James. Well, Steve, we can tell you the incident did not happen on school grounds, but the alleged victim and the juvenile suspects all attend this middle school. Now, last Monday, Terrell police were told by school officials a student was sexually assaulted by other students off campus, and a video of that incident was sent to other students. Police have obtained that video and are interviewing suspects. The Terrell Independent School District released a statement today saying the principal met with students last week to discuss the legal implications of sending or receiving inappropriate material. Parents we talked to today say they should have not have talked to the children about this incident because the parents feel like this is something that they should have addressed with their own, stu their own uh, kids. My son had better have a letter <laughs> when he gets out of school today. It's one thing to talk to them, but they better send a letter home with them too. This happened last week. Oh, last week? Holy cow. They should have notified us, let the parents sit down with their kids and tell them the way they want to tell them instead of them telling them. Now, investigators say all of these suspects, as well as the alleged victim, know each other, and they are all roughly the same general age. Now, if investigators determined that this was not a sexual assault, that it was, in fact, consensual, uh, that is not a crime. But the big concern here is if that video was transmitted, it is, you know, a crime to transmit juvenile sexual activity like that. So that is something else that investigators are very much looking into.